Hey guys, it's Greg at Vanguard Motor Sales. Look what I got for you today, 67 Mustang. Now this baby's been built as a tribute to the GT500. Look at this beautiful car. Yeah, there's a 428 under the hood and yeah, there's dual fours sitting on top of that. You can see those driving lights and the grill looking sweet, the badging, the hood pins. I mean, everything about this car is looking amazing. Don't forget, Carol Shelby Pet right here, baby, GT500. As you look down the side, you can see the bodywork on the car is phenomenal, looking sweet. And then uh, Carol was ahead of his time, baby. Aluminum wheels on this baby. Look at those. And the green, this British racing green looking sweet. Just absolutely gorgeous. You can see all the reflections in the paint looking good. We've got a wood steering wheel in there. Now this car has been upgraded to a five speed. Oh, Carol would have loved to have the five speed in his GT500. It's got custom seats in it. Looks like that rear seat was customized to match the front seats. It's got the roll bar in it. Headliner's looking good. You can see the dash and the gauges, all the chrome, the faces, the gauges, the lenses on the gauges, everything looking sweet on this baby. Nice and clean. It's even got a tilt column in it. The stance on the car is killer also. Of course, it's got the Shelby tail lights in it. It's got the dual exhaust. And then those racing stripes coming all the way down the back end of the car. Then it's even got the Cobra back here on the gas fill. Inside the trunk, we got an Optima battery in there. It looks like there's a cover for the car. They got some carpeting in there. Now these cars, the uh, trunk floor is actually the gas tank underneath there. The gas tank's looking phenomenal too. You can see the paintwork on the bottom side of the deck lid looking good. As you look down that passenger side, you can really see the stance on the car. The stance is killer. Now at Vanguard Motor Sales, we do not do consignment. That means we own this Mustang. So you know we did our homework before we bought it. Then the first thing that happens to every car here at Vanguard is they go up on the lift so we can inspect them, take pictures and do our video so we can show you and tell you exactly what your car is gonna look like when we park this dream in your driveway. All right guys, it is still nasty outside. I apologize we can't drive this car today, but I have driven this car and it is an amazing driver. She's got 428 up front, looking sweet. Now look at the gauges on this thing. They got Carroll Shelby snake gauges in them. Isn't that cool? And they're in the stock location, so they look really cool. We got a tilt column here, so we can lay that column right down. Um, everything about the car is just cool. We got an aftermarket Kenwood radio in it. Then you can see it may actually be an authentic Carroll Shelby signature because it uh, looks like it's starting to come off like he did it with a Sharpie, you know. Uh, Five-speed shifter. What's also nice is our shutoff is right here. Easy to get at. we got a voltage gauge there too and it looks like there's a clock there also. Guys, this is one sweet automobile. we got custom seats which feel great. Uh, the back seat matches. She's beautiful. Hey, give us a call. 248-974. 9513. We can deliver this baby anywhere in the world. And Tom answers his phone seven days a week and almost 24 hours a day. All right, we're underneath the Mustang now. And man, she's pretty under here. You can see that it's got three inch exhaust going all the way out. Mandrel bent, all welded up. You can see the coilovers holding up here. It's got total control set up back here. It's a triangulated four link. You can see the uh, added cross member there. It ties into the frame. We got disc brakes out back here. It looks like the parking brake is hooked up. We got brand new brake lines. You can see that the uh, frame members are all painted up. The floor is all painted up. We got MagnaFlow mufflers. 
We got frame ties here going from the front to the back. A lot of upgrades under here. We got a big old fuel line going front to back. We got a brand new brake line going front to back. We got an X pipe in here. Uh, of course, three inch all the way forward here, welded solid all the way forward here. Uh, the frame here looks like it's original to the car and it's in good shape. We got two torque boxes on this car. It's got a uh, Tremec uh, trans here with a hydraulic uh, throw out bearing is why it disengages the clutch. We got a uh, explosion proof bell housing here. We got an aftermarket power rack and pinion set up here also. Um, you can see that the uh, front suspension has also been upgraded to a strut like deal. Uh, it is a coil over. It does have an upper control arm there. Um, everything under here is looking sweet. All the paint work down here, the uh, trailing arms here, all uh, heim jointed up, looking good. I mean, just everything about it is just gorgeous. We got that big old uh, Cobra pan on the bottom side here. I love those. That looks like one of the originals, or it's got, it's uh, from back in the day, definitely looking good. Uh, we've got. Um, we do have disc brakes up front too, I forgot to point that out. Then we got the Shelby style wheels. Mr. Shelby was sure proud of these, 215-60-15s. As you look down the side there, that green, British Racing Green's looking sweet. And then look at that pinch weld there. Now you can tell this painter was not afraid to bend over. He painted that baby right down to the bottom edge. A lot of guys don't do that. Now out back we got 235-60-15s on the same good looking rims. She is a beauty. Well, let's raise the hood and see what's making the horsepower. All right, we got FE Power here, baby. 428, 456 horsepower. It's got dual carb sitting on top. Those are uh, 500 CFM uh, Edelbrox. It's got the badass Fend aluminum uh, covers that their Shelby was so proud of also. Now look at all the braces here. We got going from the shock tower back to the firewall, out to the inner fenders. I mean, it's going in every direction. Looks like we got some aluminum heads on there. Those are uh, Edelbrock heads. We do have power uh, steering and power brakes. You can see that the intake is aluminum. We got a serpentine belt set up here. The water pump's polished up. We got electric fans on this polished up aluminum radiator. Uh, we got real nice stainless uh, elbow here for the upper radiator hose, looking good. I mean, just everything about this thing, the dipsticks right here in the front of the uh, header tube, just, you know, the inner fenders are looking good. I mean, bottom side of the hood's got uh, chassis black on it. Of course, it's fiberglass, just like all the Shelby's. We got the Shelby driving lights here. The car does have AC. That AC compressor must be, yeah, it's mounted down there on the bottom where you don't have to look at it. Uh, it's got a really nice overflow tank there. It's all aluminum polished up. They've hidden all the hoses. They run those AC hoses out into the fender well and then back and then back into the firewall back there looking sweet. I mean, just everything about this car is just absolutely gorgeous, guys. Got a lot of upgrades over and above what Shelby did to the car back in the day. So give us a call at 248-974-9513 and let Vanguard Motor Sales park this dream in your driveway.